Here's another problem. Uh, this is number 41. Um, I'm going to make this variable side and this is the number side. First thing I'm going to do is combine like terms, CLT, um, and distribute. So I guess I better distribute first. So negative 3 times x would be negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 4 would be positive 12 plus 4x equals, let's take care of this now, 3 minus 7 is negative 4 because 7 minus 3 is 4 and negative 7 is bigger. So now I took care of my distributing and now I'm going to combine like terms some more. So I have, here's a one with a variable and here's a variable and this is a positive and this is a negative. So positive 4 minus negative 3 would leave behind just x by itself. x and I'm going to just bring my 12 down plus 12 equals, I'm just going to bring that down because I didn't really do anything to change that. So here's negative 4 and now I'm going to add the opposite, add opposite, So, because I want to get this by itself, I need to make this a zero. To make this a zero, I'm going to say negative 12, negative 12. And again, that's my workspace, they match. So now that's zeroed out, and I have x by itself. And here I have negative 4 plus negative 12 is negative 16. So let's take it back to here and see if it works. Let's take it back to the very beginning. Negative 3 times x plus 4 plus 4x equals 3 minus 7. I know I'm talking really fast, but I'm also working. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in negative 16. 3 times negative 16 plus 4, plus 4 times negative 16 equals 3 minus 7. Negative 3 times, do the parentheses first, negative 16 plus 4 would be negative 12 plus 4 times 16 is 64, but it'll be negative, negative 64. I think we have a problem, equals uh, negative 4. So this is positive 36, and this is negative 64, and that does not equal negative 4 by any stretch of the imagination. So I just went and looked at the answer in the book, and I was right. It is not negative 16, which means something's wrong. So I went back and I looked at this, and I checked my work, and this is an important lesson. If things don't match, go back and make sure you copied the problem correctly. And if you look very carefully, I'm sure most of you have already noticed this, except I didn't because I was going too fast. The original problem is negative 3 times x minus 4. And down here I wrote negative 3 times x plus 4. And that kind of changes things. So I'm going to try it again the right way negative 3 times x minus 4 plus 4x equals 3 minus 7. And I'm going to plug in negative 16 again. And I'm just going to do that, negative 4. So here, let's do what's going on in the parentheses first. Negative 16 minus 4 would be negative 20. And here, so that's 3 times negative 20 plus 4 times negative 16 is still negative 64 equals negative 4. So 3 times negative 20 is negative 60. Negative 3. See, I'm not paying attention. That's positive 60. Plus six, negative 64. 
equals negative 4. A positive, a negative, the difference is negative 4 equals negative 4. And yes, that was way harder than I needed it to be, but that just goes to show that you should pay attention and check your work. So I'm going to go on to a new problem now that might have a little bit more, be more forgiving. Let's look at 5.3, problem 15. And they're asking you to solve using division. The th and the reason we use division is because the 3 and the y, the job they're doing together is multiplying. The inverse of multiplication is division. So if I divided this side by 3, this would be the same as saying 3 over 3 times y, because they cancel. And that's a 1, right? What I do to this side, I must do to this side to keep it balanced. 3 goes into 21 7 times. So y equals 7. Let's go back and check. 3 times 7 equals 21. 21 equals 21. See, I could do that one. Let's take a look over here for this one, which is number 43. And again, I want you to use division to find what y equals. Right now, y is being multiplied by 7. Multiplication is the opposite of or inverse of division. So to undo this, I'm going to divide this side by 7. And that might help. 7 times 1. That turned into 1, and that just was left behind as y. What I do to one side, I have to do the other. Whoops! Be careful here. That's an easy mistake to do. I'm dividing by 7. And that's why I want you to be able to see what I did here, I did here. So the answer is 4 sevenths. And let's check that. 4 equals 7 times 4 over 7. 4 equals... 7 times 4 is 28. 1 times 7 is 7. 7 goes into 28 4 times, and 4 equals 4. See, I got that one right, too. So that's the end of the Unit 3 Day 2 homework. Um, thanks for your patience on this one. I'm glad I was able to show you some of the ways you can make mistakes and how to check them.